This lesson is to teach you how to move a drawing that does not have a title block into a drawing that does. Sometimes we draw a file and forget that we need a title block within our drawing, which is in paper space. But we draw something that's in model space, and there may be no title block available. It's a very simple way to move it over into this title block if you need to. Keep in mind, however, when you copy files, all the layers that you created will copy over when you copy images from one place to another. You can also copy in reverse, taking the title block and moving it to the layout here. But for these purposes, I'm going to move the drawing from the model space in this file name to this title block here. All you need to do is simply this. Select everything, right click, clipboard, copy with base point, and pick the lower left corner of your drawing. Now I have a copy of this drawing. I hit the escape key to deselect everything. I'll switch to my other drawing. I don't copy and paste in paper space. This is only for printing, so I need to leave this. Before I do, however, I need to move back to the layer 0 before I can copy. I also need to make sure there's a viewport in here. So I'll double click in here and make sure it is. And there is. Click it back out of it and go to the Model tab. I will right click, clipboard, and paste. I can place this anywhere I want actually in this drawing. It doesn't have to be within this grid. And there's the drawing. I typed in RE regenerate uh, to allow my lines to appear as you saw there. Notice how there's no title block here so centering these drawings is going to be different than working in model space. Click on paper space. You'll see our drawing is not where it should be but don't worry about that. There's going to be a series of steps you're going to use. The steps to center your drawing in the viewport mo floating model space you need to type in this sequence of steps. MS Enter will enter the viewport, which is also called floating model space. Type in Z Enter E Enter, which centers the drawing inside your viewport. Then type in Z Enter 1 XP Enter to scale the drawing full size. Consequently, 1 half XP is 1 half size, 3 fourths XP is 3 fourths size, etc. PS Enter, exit the viewport, floating model space. So let's do that. MS Enter. I'm inside the viewport, as you can see as the icon here moved over. Z enter, E enter, the drawing is now centered. Z enter, 1 XP enter, the drawing is now full size, like you see in the title block. And then PS enter. Now, of course, it's not that simple. What if the drawing doesn't fit? As you can see, the lines are touching the border and the title block. So I need to remedy that. So there's more things you need to do. You might have to move your drawings closer together. Make sure ortho is on when you do this. I can move this object closer than 3 fourths of an inch. I can move this closer and adjust dimensions that are too far apart from each other as you see here. To give me more space. After all of your adjustments are made, you go back to paper space and repeat the steps we just talked about here. So, MS Enter, Z Enter, E Enter, Z Enter, 1 XP Enter, TS Enter. I'm back outside in paper space and now you can see my drawing fits and nothing's touching the border. I had to fix some dimensioning. There's no, no dimension should be inside the drawing. Any adjustment you make needs to be reset in here. So MS Enter, Z Enter, E Enter, Z Enter, 1 XP Enter, PS. Let update my date. Update the name of the file. And label what the size of the drawing is. If you're going to use 1 half XP, this will no longer say full and you have to change it to its new name. There it is. If it's not full size, it's half size, you would type in something like this. If it's 3 fourths size, you would type in something like this.
3 fourths equals 1. Whatever the scale is, is reflective here. We are printing full size for this drawing. Printing steps will be in another video.